Hi everyone, Caitlin here. Um, I am currently 24 weeks pregnant today, and um, that means viability. We are finally at viability, so if baby boy would decide to come, uh, you know, around this time, you know, by advanced medical measures, he, uh, the chance of survival is pretty darn good. So that is so exciting. Uh, we are finally at viability. Now, symptom wise, my symptoms have not, um, really changed at all since last week. <clears throat> um, I have been monitoring my blood sugar and watching my diet and, uh, my blood sugars, they just, they're not, they're not the greatest. Like even with diet control, um, I just can't get them to, to stay down. Um, my highest level so far has been 210. If you're not normal with a, uh, if you're not sure of a normal glucose level, it's 80 to 80. Sorry. I'm like jumbling my words. 80 to 120 is a good range and um, 150 and below you don't need insulin coverage depending on how brittle you are some people do um, but usually you only get insulin coverage if it's above 150 and it um, my highest level so far has been 210 and uh, my lowest has been um, it was 98 in the hospital when they checked it. That was my absolute lowest that it's been. Um, but with me checking it myself, my lowest has been 105. So my levels are, you know, not the greatest. And um, I have been watching what I've been eating. I've been, you know, no carbs or no or low carb, I should say. Um, I've been eating lots of salads and you know, chicken breast, um, no pastas, potatoes, starches, none of that. Um, so diabetic diet, um, checking my sugars, uh, one to two hours after each meal and before bed. And so that is really like the biggest change that's happened in this past week is, is just that. And since I have changed my diet to, um, you know, no carb, low carb diet. Uh, I actually have lost a tiny bit of weight. Um, but all together so far at 24 weeks pregnant, I've gained 10 pounds, um, pretty, pretty much exactly 10 pounds. Um, this morning I weighed myself first thing in the morning. We have a scale at work and my office at work, I, I'm paired with a dietitian. And so we keep a scale in the office. And so I've been weighing myself at work every morning and, um, it, I'm up, uh, 10 pounds, which is pretty darn good. Uh, I'm glad cause I am heavier this pregnancy starting out than I was with Grayson's probably by a good, I gotta think about this probably almost 20 pounds after I stopped breastfeeding her um, the weight just packed on um, I know if you watch me with my videos with Grayson when I started breastfeeding her I dropped the weight after having her very very quickly and um, it stayed off and I you know I'm not gonna lie I'm not a big exerciser and I, um, I you know didn't really do much but nurse her and my weight stayed you know down past below my birth uh, pre-pregnancy weight and um, as soon as I stopped breastfeeding within that first month that I stopped I stopped nursing her at 13 months and that first month that I stopped, I gained a good 10 pounds in the first month. And so, but starting this pregnancy, I started out at 150 and, um, I am now up to 160 even. So, um, you know, since I am heavier starting out this pregnancy, I'm happy with the weight gain that I am at. Um, and another, thing that I do want to mention that I did forget to mention in my uh, last week's video is that I won a free maternity shoot. So I am very excited for that because these things are so stinking expensive anymore. Photography in general, just getting Grayson's pictures done yearly um, 
it, the first year I did it, excuse me, sorry, I did it at six months, a year, and then two years for her. And it is just, it's so pricey anymore. And for a maternity and newborn photo shoot together with the photographer that we've been going with, and I don't want to have to switch, but together is um, well over $400, almost $500. It is just way too expensive. So there is this, um, and it, you know where I'm from, she was advertising, someone separate, not my photographer, someone separate was advertising um, you know, that she is doing photography. I was looking at her stuff, it's okay, it's decent. Um, and she does photography and doesn't have a whole lot of maternity photos and so she was looking for um, a maternity model to do free you know free pictures with that um, you know was gonna be you know bigger in the summer or due in the summer and um, so I put in and out of I think she said 75 people I was chosen so I'm so excited for that because um, it's completely free and I'm going to be huge at the time that she does these pictures. So it's not like I'm not looking forward to that part because I will be quite, um, quite big come the time that she does my pictures. My pictures are going to be on June. I got to think about this. June 28th is the date that we are going to do those pictures. And it's just what she had available. And I don't feel like, um, you know, kind of complaining about that day because it's free and I just have to be thankful for it. But, um, so I will be nice and big, but June 28th, we will have our maternity photos taken and I am so excited. They are free. Um, just to save some money. Hopefully they turn out pretty good. Um, since she hasn't done many maternity shoots, but it'll be fun. So, um, I told you weight gain. I have not been measuring my belly this pregnancy, but I could probably tell you um, I'm probably well over 40 inches by now. Um, I was watching my video of 24 weeks when I was pregnant with Grayson actually this morning and I was 39 and a half or something like that. And I'm way bigger this pregnancy belly wise than I was with hers, um, at this point. Um, I got a big, big guy in there <laughs> growing and um, it's just my second pregnancy and they are correct when they say that you show much sooner and you are much larger with your, you know, second, third, fourth baby. It's crazy. So um, I will go ahead and stop there and show you a quick belly shot because I have no more to talk about. So let me, sorry, low battery on my phone. Um, let me show you this huge bump. And I will let you guys go. So, yeah, I might be able to just stand. Maybe. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> Here is the bump from the front and from the side with the shirt up or down. I'm all over the place, guys. And here is with. shirt up nice and big my belly is getting very itchy mainly around my belly button so here is the front here is the other side so it's nice and big and I have noticed I don't know if you can see it in this light kind of right here he's kicking right now right on the side of my belly button, right here. I have kind of a knot forming and when I push on it, it's pretty tender. There, you can kind of see it right there. I think I might have a hernia developing. So that makes me kind of nervous because um, might mean possible surgery after I deliver. So not looking forward to that, so hopefully um, you know, it doesn't get much worse and, you know, I can just live with it. So, well, I will talk to you ladies later and I will see you next week at week 25. Bye.